Hello there. My name is Peter Thompson and in this DVD I'm going to explain the alignment procedure. Maybe you're one of those golfers who just enjoys playing golf and you go around the course and you almost don't care where the ball goes. There are many, many golfers who have that philosophy. It is not right or wrong. When I teach people for the first time, I always ask them, why do you play golf? Or why do you want to play golf? And the answers are very varied. Some people, they want to be golf professionals. Some people, they simply want to enjoy themselves out in the fresh air with their friends. And if they hit one good shot in the round, then that's fantastic for them. Other golfers want to be as good as they can be. So if you're one of those golfers who don't really care where the ball goes, then this DVD might not be any good for you because it could make you quite boring. In other words, you might start to hit the ball straighter more often, which can be, for some people, quite boring. Some of the best golfers in the entire world, Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus, boring golfers. So alignment, what is it all about? The club head hits the ball, you don't, and the club head needs to be the first thing that you position correctly. If you hit a golf ball 200 yards and the club face is just one degree out, right or left, the ball will go 10 feet to the right or 10 feet to the left. And that's just one degree. It's dead easy to have the face pointing 10 degrees open, 10 degrees closed, and the ball can now go 100 feet offline. And that's with a good golf swing. So I'm going to go to my computer screen now and show you NELs taking dead aim at a target. And you'll see why when I show you the film, why he has to take dead aim. This is on the 18th tee at Augusta National. And I took this film myself and I made very sure I got the camera exactly behind him. As you can see, there are trees on the right and trees on the left and the ball simply has to go straight. When he hits the ball, I'm gonna draw an arrow from the ball and you can see where the ball is going. It's going exactly in between the two trees. Had he aimed right or left, he would hit a good goal shot, probably into the trees. So I'll go back to the beginning now, and I'll draw another arrow across his toes. And as you can see, they're more or less parallel. Parallel is sort of okay. The key thing is that the club face is pointing exactly where he wants the ball to go to. He has a great goal swing and he knows even with a good goal swing if the face is pointing in the wrong direction he still won't be able to hit the golf ball straight and in this instant it simply has to go straight. So watch the swing, watch the shot, there's the ball straight down the arrow and there's the ball flying through the air in a beautiful straight line with a slight fade just on the end. So any else took dead aim. The tough face hits the ball you don't and it's very important that you aim it where you want the ball to go to. I read an article once, oh, many years ago now, and the article was about Ben Hogan, Jack Nicklaus and Tom Watson simply asking the question, why were they better than most other golfers, which they clearly were. And there were pages and pages and pages of this article, and in the end, the author, I've forgotten his name, the author came to the conclusion about why, in his opinion, Tom Watson, Jack Nicklaus 
and Ben Hogan were better than most of the golfers. The conclusion was this. They held the club the same way every time. They didn't say it was right or wrong. It was the same. They all had the same posture, same alignment, every shot, every time. They didn't say it was good or bad. It just said it was the same. Crucially, the third thing was they all made sure the club head was pointing dead straight at the target every single time. And I repeat that the club head hits the ball and you simply have to get the club head pointing where you want the ball to go to. I'm going to show you in a while how I think you should stand to the ball. But I'm going to mention now Greg Norman. Greg Norman was the best golfer in the world for 331 weeks and the only person to have beaten that record has been Tiger Woods, who has been there for more than 600 weeks. Not at the moment, but maybe he'll, he'll come back. Who knows? Greg Norman had a very, very simple alignment procedure. He called it one, two, three. And this was the one, two, three. Number one was the club face. Point the club face at the target every time. Number two was the right foot. So he had his right foot pointing at right angles to the target line every single time. And number three, he had his left foot turned slightly out. Right, sir. So, one, two, three. One, club face. Two, right foot. Three, turn the left foot out. And he sort of copied Jack Nicklaus, who was very methodical. Greg Norman was very methodical as well, and he had this one, two, three. Club face was first. If we go back to my computer screen now, I'm going to show you another golfer, quite a famous golfer. Name is Justin Rose. And here's Justin Rose, and in common with many professionals, he uses these tour sticks. We could just use two golf clubs, but sticks tend to be quite good. And that's where his club face is pointing. And if I draw another arrow on his toes, then they're pointing more or less parallel to the target line. Justin Rose. He's been a brilliant golfer. I gave him some lessons so oh, quite a while ago now. And he was a good golfer then and he's an even better golfer now. And he knows with a good golf swing, he has to take dead aim with the club face and everything else tends to follow along. Let's watch the swing. And there goes the ball, off nice and straight, because he took the trouble to aim correctly. So alignment. If you watch top golfers on TV or watch them live at a tournament, you will find, almost inevitably, they will stand exactly behind the ball, looking down towards the target. The reason being, the only way you can see down the target line is from immediately behind the ball or in front. But that would mean walking maybe 300 yards. So we'll forget that idea. The ball will be hit over this white line and you can only see down that white line from exactly behind it, which would be here. I've heard said many, many times, pick a spot, maybe in front of the ball, three feet, which is okay. I don't like that idea. I would like you to visualize and see the whole of the flight of the ball. So your target line goes from the ball actually to the target. 
If you're playing on a hole and the fairway is 100 yards wide, you might think, well, this is dead easy. You can't possibly miss this fairway. It's so wide. Please still take dead aim on a tree or a flag or a bunker, whatever there is, take dead aim from the ball to where you want the ball to go to, whatever the width of the fairway. You must always take dead aim with the club face. My preferred way of addressing the ball is this. Stand behind the ball, find the line, Bear in mind the wind, of course. You might want to aim right or left, depending on the wind. But you have a line anyway. Then position the club head behind the ball. I use just my right hand. I then position the ball inside the left heel by about two inches for all of the shots. I then get my right foot square, my left foot out. I then put my left hand on top of the club and then drop my right hand down. That's my preferred alignment procedure. From this camera angle, same thing, club face, ball position, inside the heel by two inches, right foot square, left foot turned out, left toes slightly behind the right toes, maybe one inch, then the left hand goes on top of the golf club, then your right shoulder can go down, as your right hand goes down. That then means you're pointing at the target and your weight is in the right place as well. If you point your shoulders to the left, weight goes on the left. Shoulders to the right, weight goes on the right. With this method, face square, left arm club in line, drop the right hand down, then your weight is automatic. Every shot, Every club, every golf course, same procedure. Choose the line, depending on the wind, etc. Aim the face, ball position, inside the left heel by just two inches for all shots. Right foot out, right angles to the target line, left toes turn slightly out, maybe 20 or 30 degrees, so your toes are pointing a little bit to the left. Right hand goes down, and there we are. Everything is now is, is more or less square. Shoulders more or less parallel to the target line, so the hips, so the thighs, feet may be slightly left. You never want to have your feet or your body pointing to the right, because if you do, the club will go that away, and then you've got to try and turn your hands around to make the ball go straight. If you watch good golfers, on average, they will have their body pointing parallel to or a fraction to the left of where they wish the ball to go. Slightly open. There. And not a good goal shot. So we'll try another one. If you hit a bad shot, by the way, just forget it. Just go through the routine for the next shot. That was better. If you hit a good shot, forget it. If you hit a bad shot, forget it. Only think about the one you're about to play. I didn't hit the bad shot on purpose, by the way. So alignment. We'll go back to my screen now. I'm going to show you one of my pupils. She plays on the Ladies European Tour. Her name is Liz Young, and she's doing extremely well in the top 40 quite comfortably and here's Liz and the ball is going to go in that direction and the toes are pointing more or less parallel to that line in that direction And there the ball goes in a nice straight line. One more thing when you address the ball, 
If I draw a line underneath the golf club, you will see the toe of the club is just slightly in the air. Only slightly. It's very important that you have the toe slightly in the air because when you come down to hit the ball, the position of the club and your hands will change slightly and the club will then become flat on the ground. So one fun thing is when you address the ball, you want the toe of the club to be slightly off the ground because when you hit the ball, the club's going to move this way and the club will then become flat on the ground. So right foot square, ball inside the left heel by two inches, club face pointing dead square, and then the toe of the club, this bit off the ground, because when you hit the ball, the angle of the shaft will change, and you can't stop that happening, so therefore you have to allow for it when you address the ball. So there's the alignment. To me, it's fantastically important. If you don't care where the ball goes, well, that's fine. If that's how you want to play golf, that is completely fine by me. I used to teach golf in Johannesburg, and a man used to come to the driving range, and in Johannesburg, the sun seems to shine all the time. And he would come along and only ever hit a driver and just white balls, good shots. And I went to see him one day and I said, that's a good shot, what's your handicap? And he said, I don't have a handicap. I'm not a member of a golf club. I just like to see the golf ball flying through the air. And if that's what he enjoyed doing, well, that's absolutely fine. Everyone should ask themselves, why are they playing golf? If you want to get better, seriously get better, then all the static bits, the alignment bits, that will make you more consistent. If you're not interested in consistency, then just stand there and just whack the ball. Most good golfers, however, do want to be consistent. It's the number one word that my people say to me when they come for lessons. How do I, do I become more consistent? And this is how you do it. Jack Nicklaus once said, if you've got a rotten swing and a rotten stance, you'd be a rotten golfer. But if you've got a good stance, at least you then have a fighting chance of hitting the ball where you want the ball to go to. So there's the alignment procedure. It will work, and if you used to, to use it, then just follow those principles, and I'm sure you'll find you hit the ball more consistently. Keyword. Thank you for listening. Thank you.